It's into our newsroom right now in the deadly plane crash in your Belinda on Super Bowl Sunday that killed five people. Alex Stone with ABC News joins us here in studio and there's new information about the actual credentials that were found at the crash site and the assumption that this guy was a former police officer. Well, you'll remember last night when the Orange County Sheriff's Department, they came out and they said, well, this was a former Chicago police officer, Antonio Pistini, his name, 75 years old. They had found these credentials at the crash site. Overnight, Chicago police called the Orange County Sheriff's Department and said he was not a Chicago police officer, that those credentials were not valid. They believe the name Pastini, that was his actual name. They believe he had a, an FAA pilot's license, but why he apparently had these fake credentials, we're now finding out that they apparently were fake, but why he had them, they don't know. That's such a big mystery. Of course, is there any assumption right now? You have the FAA, the NTSB, you know, everyone investigating that there's something more suspicious about this? We don't know. I just talked to the FAA. They say right now they think the, the certificate, his pilot's license was valid, uh, that this would involve police, that this wouldn't be their side of it. They're investigating the the crash. They're investigating why the plane went down. But is there something more to it? Now the Orange County Sheriff's Department is going to have to figure that out. Did he have this to try to get out of traffic tickets or did he have it because somebody made this for him? We don't know. Was there something not quite right that was going on beyond all of that? They're trying to figure that out right now. Uh, was it under some other name that Chicago police that they, they couldn't find him under. Uh, there are some loved ones who have said that, that he went by another name. Did they just miss search that in the Chicago database? But right now they say the credentials he had on him, that they looked fake. It was a name they don't have in their database. They don't really know. So bizarre, too, because your team has been looking into it, and they were laminated and everything. Yeah. There's details, and those actually survived the crash. Yeah, and he had a flat badge, we're told, and a laminated card that had his alleged retirement date on it. But Chicago police saying those are not accurate credentials, that they are not valid, both the information on them and how they actually looked, that they weren't the real deal. No information right now that this was intentional, this crash, that he was trying to hit that neighborhood in Yorba Linda, but this definitely is a wrinkle that we're just finding out that unless Chicago police, they aren't finding that name somewhere, uh, that they say no, that those aren't real credentials. Just a really strange twist as the investigation also at the crash site continues. Alex Stone, thanks for your time. You got it. Appreciate thanks, you being here. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.